You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. It is difficult to call the first trading day of the current week and the second quarter a full-fledged trading day, as many continue to celebrate Easter. Nevertheless, the release of the ISM Index of Business Activity in the manufacturing sector came as a real surprise. For the first time since October 2022, this index rose above 50 points, indicating an increase in business activity, which was made possible only thanks to the growth of the world's largest economy. Simply put, investors have received another confirmation of the stability of the US economy. But at this point, a completely logical question may arise, why then did there be a wave of sales on the stock market? Please note that the Dow Jones Industrial Average has become an outsider. He lost a little over 1% on the first trading day. It is noteworthy that this happened at the time of an unexpected increase in the business activity index in the US manufacturing sector. But in fact, there is nothing surprising here. Exceeding the predicted value, and even more so the return of the index above 50 points, significantly reduces the likelihood of three key interest rate cuts this year. As a result, there was an increase in the yield of 10-year government bonds, which in turn put pressure on stock indices and support for the US dollar. The growth of the business activity index again pointed to the stability of the largest economy, thereby reducing risks and, as a result, reducing interest in protective assets. It is for this reason that there has been a wave of sales in the precious metals market. However, do not rush to panic, there have been no global changes. Key stock indexes, including the Dow Jones, remain bullish. Gold also failed to fall below $2,225, indicating still high demand. But yesterday's surprise indicates that on Friday we may get an additional reason to doubt the Fed's ability to cut the rate three times before the start of the Christmas holidays. Recall that this Friday there will be a release of a key macroeconomic report that allows you to assess the real situation in the economy. Moreover, data on the labor market in the United States allow us to accurately determine the probability of a slowdown in inflation. If unemployment does not rise, and the number of jobs created in the non-agricultural sector exceeds 200,000, the activity of sellers on the US stock market may increase significantly. A still strong labor market will push business activity higher, thereby contributing to higher inflation. Therefore, we cannot talk about a reduction in the key interest rate, especially about the projected three reductions. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.